Help is on the way from right here in central Texas. Emergency crews in Austin left today as part of the hurricane relief effort, but business travel to the East Coast took a big hit. Brian Sanders is live out at ABIA with the very latest from there. Brian. Well, good afternoon, guys. ABIA had to cancel about 20 flights today because of Hurricane Sandy shutting down airports along the East Coast. But repercussions nationally could be tough on the economy. In addition to hurting business travel, about a fifth of the country's entire population lives in the storm's path. So Texas is stepping up to help relief efforts with its own manpower. It's Texas to the rescue. Local emergency crews are headed east toward Hurricane Sandy to help in the aftermath. Austin energy contractors like Pike Electric say power outages will be one of the biggest problems. The area that it's hitting is really congested. That's where the majority of the population is, so they're going to need all the help they can get. Ten three-man teams deployed on Monday. They'll spend three to four days on the road and then get to work trimming trees and restoring power. Mainly just uh, down power lines. Uh, a lot of trees broken, usually what causes most of the damage. The American Red Cross of Central Texas is also joining relief efforts. They sent two people to New York ahead of the storm. We want to pre-position them because they may not be able to travel right away after the storm hits because the airports may be closed, transportation may be affected, so we need them in the area prior to landfall. One volunteer from Austin will work with government officials on resource allocation. Another volunteer will focus on health services. They'll be assessing any um, needs that clients may have. Maybe somebody's lost all their medication and they need that replaced. They'll be able to work with our nurses to, to get that done. Well, it could be a lengthy cleanup process. Both the American Red Cross and Austin Energy expect their crews to be out there some two to three weeks. We spoke to some people here that are not necessarily traveling east, but they're trying to get in touch with relatives and can't because of power lines and cell phone towers being down. If you are traveling east this week, just make sure you check your flight status ahead of time so that you can adjust your plans accordingly. Live at ABIA, Brian Sanders, KXAN News. Brian, thank you so much for that. Well, you can find out much more about the storm online on our website now at kxan.com. We have a photo gallery here for you, a time-lapse view of the storm as it gains strength as it moves uh, inward towards land. And we also have updates on flight cancellations and other local impacts of Sandy. All of that there on our front page, kxan.com.